had the first attack on the U.S. Capitol since the War of 1812. The first attack on the U.S. Capitol by U.S. citizens in U.S. history. Who facilitated and nurtured this attack? Donald J. Trump. That's Representative Jamal Bowman making a complete fool out of himself in a recent debate with Representative Byron Donalds on CNN. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish. Today we're going to take a few minutes to break down this clip and discuss how it perfectly highlights the differences between liberals and conservatives. Then, we'll highlight how Donalds expertly uses Bowman's hysterical attacks against him to turn the tables and ultimately win this debate. That's actually on not true. Twitter, That's on actually not all true. these social media platforms. That's not true. Come on January 6th. Name it's gonna statement. be crazy. Jamal, name I'm, gonna, I'm gonna meet he in his speech. I'm gonna meet Come you on, down man. there. Come he on, tried man. to ride with the Secret Service. They was like, chill, President Trump, you bugging. You can't ride with us. He let his supporters come in past the metal detectors with guns during the speech on January 6th. Uh, they were carrying also not wooden true. crosses down the street. That's this is true. what he did. Arm. So he's endorsing an insurrectionist. Not true at he's all. He's part of a party. Not true that at all. Many of them voted to overturn the election results and push the big lie. Democrats have voted to overturn elections too, with. Jamal. Brother, no. choose Democrats another party. Vote, Democrats haven't voted to overturn an election. I'm sorry. They didn't do that in 2004. They didn't do that in 2000. I'm talking about That's not right act. now. I'm t- you're bringing up Trump old stuff. So I'm bringing up old Trump stuff too. And- Notice how this debate illustrates the importance of culture. I mean, you have two guys roughly the same age in the same profession, and one is a hysterical mess, making outlandish claims and throwing insults around, while the other is calm, collected, and able to make points without raising his voice. I mean, honestly, I don't even know why Jamal came into this debate so hot. You're on CNN, dude. You've got the home field advantage. You don't need to be dialed to 11 saying whatever nonsense pops into your head. He was recently indicted in New York for hush money payments to a porn star. This you is the and I both know that indictment is foolishness. And I will, foolishness? It's foolishness. It's political Listen, and you know this. But well, let me go died. ahead. I'll raise you one better. Go ahead. I'll raise, raise you one, one better. better because if we're going to talk about stuff going on in the background, you have the president's brother, the president's son, they are taking wire payments from people across the globe. Jamal, I've seen some of the documents myself. They are taking these payments. We've already documented a million dollars going to Hunter Biden, facilitated with other members of the Biden Hunter family Biden while he's sitting in the White House. That's, but, but dude, stop that. Hunter Biden's not that. running you, for president. You know, now, you know better than Joe that. Biden you is the president. You know better than that. You know better than that. Joe if Biden, Hunter it, Biden's getting money from Chinese, from people with Chinese companies, if he's facilitating the sale of a cobalt mine to China, while Joe Biden is setting energy policy in the United States, you don't think that man's compromised? My, Come on. My, you don't think he knows what his son is doing? Oh man. This he is, doesn't know what his son is doing? You're talking about Hunter Jamal, Biden you right now. Tell me he doesn't know what his son is doing? <laughs> Listen, I'm telling okay. you that the president's right, judgment is compromised. I, I wanna, I wanna, get, I wanna bring you. this back because we can really go uh, to a lot of places. You know, it's no wonder why Jamal Bowman has to resort to pulling fire alarms. The guy doesn't seem like he's good at conflict. All he had to do during this debate was say orange man bad over and over again, but he couldn't even do that. He just had to get in the weeds with all this unrelated nonsense. And that's how Byron Donalds was easily able to outmaneuver him and put him on his heels. Because Bowman made the mistake of mentioning Democrat history in the Bidens, and that's all Donalds needed to put him in a corner. By the end of this debate, Donalds is just clobbering him with facts, and you can tell Bowman knows he's lost because of the change in his demeanor. Everybody's falling behind. Black families have fallen behind under Joe Biden. Under Donald Trump, black families were actually making more money, building more wealth, had more economic opportunity. That has all eroded under Joe Biden and is getting worse. Seniors on fixed incomes, they're falling behind. The very people, Jamal, that you want to help, they're falling behind under your president. They're not the same group of Americans than they were in 2018. And we all get the pandemic. It was awful, and we've now moved past that. But we got to get back to sound economic principle that works for everybody. And what Joe Biden and the Democrats are offering doesn't work. Aw, what's wrong, Jamal? What happened to being loud and laughing and talking over the opposition? I mean, when this thing started, he was moving all around and almost had an aggressive posture. They could barely keep him centered in his half of the screen. Now, in the clip we just showed, he looks like a puppy who had an accident on the rug. I think it's pretty clear that Donald's won this debate. He kept his composure, didn't get emotional, and took advantage of opportunities when they presented themselves. But let me know what you think. Who do you think handled themselves better? What is it about some liberals that makes them so emotional? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!